In this video, we're going to try to figure out how much force is required to speed up a 1500 kilogram car from rest to a final velocity of 20 meters per second in 10 seconds. Now before we begin, let's just draw a picture to see what's actually happening within this problem. This car is going to start with an initial velocity of 0 meters per second. That's what it means for an object to start from rest. Then what's going to happen is this car is going to accelerate in this direction, and its velocity is also going to increase in this direction. Now Newton's second law says that in order for an object to accelerate in a certain direction, a force has to act in the direction that the object is going to accelerate. So notice that the force and acceleration vectors point in the same direction, indicating that the object object is accelerating in the direction of the net external force. Now after a time interval of 10 seconds, the car is going to reach a final velocity of 20 meters per second. So it's going to take 10 seconds to go from rest to a final velocity of 20 meters per second. And so we can record that as our time interval as 10 seconds. Now the question is asking for the force required to accelerate this car, that is the force required to change its state of motion to speed it up. So we're going to need to apply Newton's second law of motion. So in this case, we're looking for the force required to speed up the car. Now to apply Newton's second law of motion, we're going to need to know the mass of the car, and we're going to need to know the acceleration of the car. Now the mass of the car is given as 1500 kilograms, but they don't tell us directly what the acceleration of the car is, so we're going to have to figure it out by ourselves. Now we're going to go back to our definition of acceleration, which says that acceleration is the change in velocity per change in time. That is, acceleration is how fast, in this case, the car is speeding up. Now in this case, they tell us that the final velocity of the car is 20 meters per second, and this car initially started out at 0 meters per second, that is, it started out from rest, and it's going to take 10 seconds to change this velocity. That is, it's going to take 10 seconds to go from rest to 20 meters per second. Now the next step is to simplify this expression. So 20 meters per second minus 0 works out to be 20 meters per second. And you're going to divide that by the time it takes to change that velocity, which in this case was 10 seconds. And then 20 meters per second divided by 10 seconds works out to be 2 meters per second per second, or 2 meters per second squared. So this is the acceleration of the car. So now we know all the information we need to figure out how much force is required to speed up this car. So now we can apply Newton's second law of motion, which says that if you add up all the forces acting on an object, it's going to equal the mass of the object times the acceleration of the object. Now the problem stated that the mass of the car was 1500 kilograms, and you've determined that the acceleration of the car is 2 meters per second per second, or 2 meters per second squared. Now when you multiply 1500 kilograms times 2, you get 3,000, and in this case the units work out to be a kilogram times a meter per second squared, so a kilogram meter per second squared, and this unit here is defined to be a newton. One newton is the force required to accelerate an object at a rate of one meter per second per second, so we can rewrite this as 3,000 newtons. And this is the force required to speed up this car at a rate of 2 meters per second per second. Now one of the things that Newton's second law says is if we wanted to accelerate this car faster it would require a greater force. And we're going to pick up on those topics in the coming videos. 